the strategy we talked about today is called sketch to stretch. The reason I like this one is it gives kids the opportunity to be a little more creative. A lot of times kids get hung up on the words that, that they understand the concept, but sometimes the words just don't seem to come. So what we did with this uh, sketch to stretch is it allows kids to draw the picture. And a lot of times I can get a whole lot more meaning out of that than the words that they use. Um, so I really like this one uh, for that reason. Here's what I want you to do. I'm gonna have you do be a little bit creative today. All right, feeling creative? On your tables, there is a piece of paper with four great big squares. Each of you is responsible for one square, or in, that case, in this case, rectangle, all right? Each of you is responsible for one section. You're gonna sketch something that either represents one branch or how all three interact with each other. It's really effective with some of my kids who struggle with language. Uh, so when I, if I have a class with several uh, ELL students, it works great with that. One of the really nice things about this strategy is that it allows kids a connection to creativity. Many of my kids are, are amazingly creative. And in a traditional classroom where we lecture and worksheet, they don't get much of a chance to use that creativity. And that, I, what I found is that allowing kids to use that creativity just really engages them in, into the process.